Welcome in CACPHP tutorial. Uh, I am going to give a tutorial today on CACPHP 3 auth component. Here I am using CACPHP version 3. So for this tutorial I have already created a database called CAC3 and also created a table called users and this users has 5 fields. And you can see the fields name, id, username, password, email and created. id you are looking that's uh, it is a primary key and the size of id is 11 integer and uh, it's auto increment. And the username this is the Barker and the password that you can see showing in here this is uh, I have taken hundreds Barker size because I, in here I am going to use the default password hasher password uh, in CACPHP and CACPHP default password hasher using uh, bcrypt, bcrypt algorithm and bcrypt algorithm character size should be greater than 53 for safe side I am using here 100 uh, Barker so this is my table and then I have already downloaded CACPHP version 3 in here you can see and this is the very basic home page and I think that you can uh, download and install your CACPHP version and in bottom you can see that I have already uh, add this uh, uh, connection that means I have already uh, connected with this script with my database so next step today I am going to show you the auth component so at first uh, I'm going to uh, going to generate the basic uh, code. That means I'm going to apply CAC back for users table. That means uh, uh, to generate uh, the code by using CAC console. So here in CAC3, uh, my project name, and here you in bin folder, if I just press on shift uh, shift key and then right on uh, mouse uh, right button mouse right button then you can see you will show uh, you will see a option that called open command window here so after click on open command window here then I'm just typing cac space back all then table name my table name is users so after um, typing users after hit on enter back will automatically generate the cac PHP basic code for uh, users table. So if I just pre write in here users and then enter you can see the basic uh, code for users table that means now you can add edit and delete uh, a user. So now if we just uh, 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 take a user for example I am just typing a username and I am taking a password on to 3 and I am just uh, uh, type a email and if I just uh, submit it and if I show in database so you can see uh, that this is the actual user that I have just submitted. So this user password you can show that this is actually very plain text. So at first we have to make it uh, hash uh, password. So for that at first I am just going to um, following my first step. My first step uh, I am going to uh, for first step I am going to app controller .php and the app controller folder file direction is uh, source folder and in controller and here is the app controller so in app controller in initialize method or initialize function here I am just going to declare the org component first here already CAC PHP you can see that there have they have declared two um, uh, component in here one is request handler and another is flash and in below I'm just uh, going to declare auth component so in for the auth component I'm just typing a u t h a should be capital and then after save if I just going to run my script you can see the redirect is changing and it's going for login but I'm just showing you um, here I'm showing a error message that's called the method login is missing from users controller so we just uh, going to copy this line and just in users controller in top I'm just pass the login method and after save it I'm just running the script again and here now I'm going to take error I'm going to sh uh, here I'm uh, showing error for missing template that means I have to create a template in users directory and in uh, below template folder so here I'm going to save uh, this file as login.ctp 
login.ctp that means CAC PHP template so after they save it if I just uh, write a basic HTML code for example I'm just typing hello in here uh, so this hello will be print here if we just uh, reload this page that means after the declare the um, auth component uh, this always redirect to login template that we are showing in here so now if we want to add a user now in here for example I'm just uh, uh, typing add after uh, users so if I just uh, change my directory to add a new user it will uh, not uh, give me permission to go the add method that means it always redirect me for the login method so I need to uh, add a new user for my hash password for my uh, create a new user uh, so for that I am uh, I can allow this uh, temporary that means I, I, I have to allow this uh, add method temporary for do that we have to declare a method CAC, CAC PHP has a method that's called before filter I'm just changing the render to filter FILT filter and in here the same parameters they have passed the event and in below I'm just typing this auth allow method so in allow method I'm just uh, take array and in here I'm just typing add so after typing add if I just go and change my uh, login redirect login um, change my URL uh, direction and type add and then you can see that uh, this is allowing me to add a new user but if I just type in here index now it's not allowing me it's going to for login so in add now we will add a new user but in this time I am uh, going to save this user and uh, this password should be uh, hash hash password so for that uh, we have to add a hashing password script for this I'm just going to go I'm going to, uh, I'm going uh, to my model and here you can see a entity in this entity I'm just uh, click on user.php file and in here I'm just uh, at first I have to declare the class name that means class from default password hasher I'm taking help from a CAC PHP blog here is the hashing passwords so at first I have to declare the hashing default password hasher class so I'm just uh, copy this line and paste it in here so here I have just uh, declared the default password hasher class and the second step that I will have to do this is uh, we have to declare this function so I'm just uh, paste it in the below so after the save so you can see the set password function that I have declared in here and when any password come in uh, come from users method users any method that will come in here and uh, if this is string length greater than zero then it will be uh, hashed and it will be saved at a hash password so I'm going to save it after save I'm just going to test it so in here I'm just going to reload it again and I'm going to add a new user admin and I'm going to password 123 and I'm going to take a uh, email address and I'm going to submit it so after submit if we check it in our table you can see our password has been made uh, uh, has been made uh, hashed so we have able to create our hash password okay so in next tutorial I'm going to show you how to create uh, a user login template and uh, how to uh, how to uh, log in this uh, portion that means full portion that I'm going to show you then.